This is Jorge Rivera with First Coast TV. We find ourselves here at the Willie Gallimore Center at 399 Riberia Street in St. Augustine. The event that's going on here April 11th, a Saturday, is the Environmental and Climate Challenge Day. Speakers from around Florida come here to talk about the issues of the environment and the climate. Uh, seas are rising, uh, mosquito uh, populations uh, are rising and bringing other diseases that we thought were gone. Uh, also we have things about fracking, we have also dolphin rescues, fish sanctuaries, shipwreck sanctuaries, all these things that are important to us as a community and also the things we need to do in order to let's say hold back some of the negative effects of these changes to our climate and to our uh, environment. So let's go in and talk to some of the people who are part of this event. Okay, so I saw your um, your talk about sea, sea rise levels. Right. And it was amazing. You said something about building permits? Yes. Issue? yes. What was that again? Yeah, so in the year 2014, and, and this comes straight, straight from uh, St. John's County, St. John's County issued more building permits than the city of Jacksonville, the city of Orlando, and all of Miami-Dade County. Combined? No, not no. combined, individually, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. So, wow. And, yeah. uh, the sea is rising. Yes. We know that. Yes. And I know climate change has become like a word, a medieval word you can't say. Because <laughs> I might see you talking to a black cat and a jackal at night. <laughs> you right? But, but, you, but what I found interesting is that all sorts of governments are already implementing Absolutely. changes sure. for the climate change right. in their budget. Uh, Miami just did, what was it that Miami So did? they just spent uh, $206 million on infrastructure upgrades. Um, they, they just spent actually more than that on their sewage system. They had to elevate that, right. um, make a significant repairs. Uh -huh. And so the question that a lot of local governments uh, like the city of St. Augustine are faced with, you know, do we have the resources, the money in our bank account um, to pay for these infrastructure upgrades? Because right. the problem is, you know, down in Miami, you had sewage going up instead yeah. of down Flush the drain. The toilet, yeah, and it comes yeah, right back and yeah. Say, Hello. It's not good. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, all right. Do you think St. John? Now, something really cool you said is some cities that live along the water have this conservationist land right. that is a buffer zone. It's right. like the first line of defense. But once that's gone underwater, then the rest is planning. Yeah, and you know, we're really lucky here in St. John's County. We have a, a lot of undeveloped land, uh, more so than a lot of coastal counties in the state of Florida. And we have a lot of land and conservation, over 47,000 acres. That land is basically a free uh, natural buffer against sea level rise. But we really need to be careful about how we manage that resource. Um, it's protecting residential homes, so we better be careful and keep it. <laughs> right, right. So my last question for you is, yeah. do you think people are aware of how catastrophic this is and I'm saying this because most of the world population are on the water, yeah. whether it's rivers, lakes, or ocean. And so if that's where most people live, that's where the hurt's going to be. Absolutely. And that's where the money's going to owe the, the migration of people going inland. Yeah, and as you may already know, we already have what's called climate change refugees, where we have um, you know entire popula populations living in these Pacific atolls, uh, yes. you know these islands, yes. where they have to evacuate because of storm surge. Um, their entire islands are going underwater. Well, the Maldives are now like just right. trying to stay afloat. Where do they go? Yeah, and so Amsterdam that is Amsterdam and Venice, and all these beautiful. Cities. True, but but that's where a lot of innovation, um, you've seen how they have been extremely innovative in terms of how they've dealt with it. And I, I'd like to think that you know we're smart enough to try and tackle this with a lot of innovative solutions too, but we at least have to recognize that we've got a problem and start planning for it. Right. I thank you very thank much. Thank you. tent here is about? The Whitney Bioscience, Marine Bioscience Laboratory. Uh, to show people the uh, our sea creatures, we've got the spiny lobster, yeah, there's a lot and there's a the conch, that's the horse conch. Okay. 
Okay, and this one? Uh, we've got two uh, horseshoe crabs there, male and female. All right. And the reason you have these here? To educate the public about sea life and to uh, inform them how to take care of them if they ever see them on the beach. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of children here right now who will be teaching them the microscope. And now I'm going to show them microscopic. It's um, what we call bryozoa. It's a, a little, um, it's a, a, a little flower type of thing in the in the water. And it just looks like a flower, but under the microscope, they can see it is really not a flower. It's an animal oh, wow. that when it opens its leaves, it emits an odor and bugs come to it and then they oh. eat them. So it's an animal, not a plant. So you're here to educate them. Educate the children. So this is First Coast TV, and we're here at this climate challenge meeting where a lot of issues about climate, how it's affecting our infrastructure, our communities. And uh, surprise, surprise, the mayor of St. Augustine was here uh, as the welcoming everyone to it. So, so why are you here? This is an important issue, and it's an important issue uh, for planning. It's important for us, us to know about it. It's important for everyone who lives here to be aware of how the environment affects them and to figure out what matters to them and how they can contribute and help, to, quite frankly, taking care of the place we need to protect. Right, because we can go in the whole lingo of it's this, it's that, right. don't say that. Uh, but the water's rising. It's that is coming. absolutely true. And New York was underwater not yes. so long ago. Yes. I mean, to see all the subway stations yes. after that storm went through, to see Miami yeah. now, you right. know, dealing with yes. these problems, all these islands, etc. Yeah, right. I could see. So let's not call on anything. Let's do something about it. Yes, and we have, we do have our seawall, which was cons finished this last year on the right-hand side of the Bridge of Lions, was actually constructed with seawater rise in mind. Okay. We added to that, uh, so right. we have we have been thoughtful about it. Um, as it's, we have, as you know, a lot of infrastructure to tackle, and that will definitely be part of the planning. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, for thank me you. This minute, All right, and great. Have a nice Saturday. All right, yeah, you too. Bye. You're supposed to be.